Okay, guys, this is uh, an addition to the example shown in lecture 11, uh, which is the relative motion analysis. There are, there's one more example that I want to share, and uh, because that video is quite long, so I break it into two videos and I call this lecture 11a or lesson 11a, relative motion analysis for the velocity, more example. So here is a case uh, called example 11.3, where the wheel DC, this wheel, D and C, is with a radius of 0 0.1, then show here, is driven by the links AB and BC. At this instant shown, link AB is rotating 30 radian per second clockwise, okay, and theta equals to 60 degrees, theta equals to 60 degrees, determine the angular velocity of link BC. So it wanted us to determine what is the angular velocity of link BC. So if you can write it down, so what it want is basically give us what they wanted the question asked you to give, what is omega BC. So what do we do? So the first thing we'll do is we do the coordinate system. Okay. That one will show where our x, y is. So this is our x and y. Yeah, so X horizontal, Y vertical, and then we label the uh, velocity and the position vector. So we have got here the position vector B relative to A, and we've got here position vector C relative to D, and of course we can have omega CD. Yes, and then uh, and also with that we will have uh, omega. This is also so we can call it omega. This is omega BC. Sorry, this is not omega CD, but omega BC. This one is omega CD. So that's the way we done. The first thing is to do the labeling, and now we can put try to find the important data. So I know from here, if you look here, I'll try to do this one first. So position vector B relative to A is equals to 0 0.2 cos 60 degree I and plus 0 0.2 sine 60 degree J. So we've done with position vector B. Do we know what position vector C relative to D is? Yes, we know that it's here. Uh, B relative to C. So, sorry, this is B relative to C. I have to clear this. So this position vector is position vector C relative to B. So C relative to B is 0.2 i. 0.2 meter to the right, so 0.2i. All units are in meter. Uh, do we know what omega AB is? Yes. We know omega AB is given. Omega AB is given 30 radian per second clockwise. So clockwise is in the uh, negative k direction. So minus 30k. By now you know what is the sign for positive and negative k unit radian per second. What is omega BC? We don't know what omega BC is, so we assume omega BC equals to omega BC K. I have to write in blue. This is that we assume. Yeah. So again, we don't know. Do we know what omega CD is? No, we don't know. So we just assume that omega, sorry, omega CD equals to amplitude omega CD and the direction is positive K. That is, again, assume. Change the color. So this is assume. So we have got all the data and we can now draw the... Uh, so if I can draw another vector here. What is this vector? This vector is vector C. So relative to A. So vector C relative to A equals to vector C because A doesn't move equals to 
vector b relative to a and plus vector c relative to b and we know that this doesn't move also so equals to vector b plus vector c relative to b so then we can write the equation for the velocity that v uh, c equals to vb plus vc relative to b yeah i'm going to block this equation because we're going to use it some more but we know uh, when we talk about relative velocity we see this is equals to so we can write again in the form that is familiar to us vb equals to oh sorry vc vc equals to vb plus omega omega cb uh, cross position vector position vector c relative to b yeah so that's the equation that i want to block because this i'll carry to the next slide okay so oh sorry uh, so this is vc equals to vb omega cb cross c vector b yeah so or would it be better for us to do it here maybe so let me clear this space up here so we don't need the space don't need this and maybe we can uh, so we know that vc uh we know do we know what vc is now vc how do we uh, how do we look at vc vc is is a fixed axis rotation yeah fixed axis rotation of the wheel of the wheel cd about point d yeah therefore what we need to know we need to know omega cd and we need to know the position vector of c relative to d okay so uh, so that's uh, so that we can know what vcd is so if we assume assume again omega cd equals to amplitude omega cdk yeah and position vector c relative to d is is the diameter of is one point so c relative to d is minus 0.1 j because of the radius j yeah so i've got that point there i'm gonna block this one i got block this one yeah so there you go we are now ready to transfer all the equation to the next level so let's use a, 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 a clean slate so we know that vc equals to uh, v c relative to b plus vb okay and we know that because of that uh, we know that vc is equals to omega cdk cross position vector c relative to d and this is equals to we don't know what omega cd is k cross position vector c relative to d is here so it's minus 0 0.1 so it's equals to minus 0 0.1 j so k cross j is minus i so minus minus is positive so we got omega 0 0.1 omega cd i yeah so that's the answer for vc and do you know what uh, vb is vb is uh, vc we know what so vb is and we know that vb is also uh, 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 rotation of link
about a link AB about point C. Yeah, so we can say that. <coughs> so this is about. So VB equals to omega AB. K, we have already know is K, cross position vector B relative to C. So it's 0 0.2, B relative to is 0 0.2, cos 60 degrees I, plus 0 0.2 sine 60 degree J. Say K cross A is J, K cross I is J, K, K cross J is minus I. So we have minus 0 0.2 omega AB cos 60 degree. K cross I is J. And then K cross J is minus I. So minus 0 0.2 omega AB sine 60 degree I. So that's VB. And then we see relative to B is omega CBK cross B relative to C, we see relative to B, C, uh, we see relative to B, K, position vector C relative to B. Yeah. So this is omega A, B, K, cross, C is point 0.2 to the, to the right, so point 0.2 I. Yeah. So we have K cross I is J, so point 0.2. Omega A B J. Yeah. So now we can combine from the equation above. So let me block this equation. So from this equation, you bring all the components down here. So we know that V C is equals to point one uh, zero. So V C is zero point one. Uh, omega C D I. equals to VC relative to B, 0 0.2 omega ABJ plus VB. Plus VB is uh, minus 0 0.2 omega AB uh, cos 60 degree J minus 0 0.2 omega AB sine 60 degree uh, this is j this other one is i sorry this one is i so this one is i yeah so we can equate uh, equate i and j so since j is zero so we do the j parts and then we get omega uh, 0 equals to 0 to omega a b minus 0 0.2 omega a b sine 60 degrees so omega a oh sorry uh, something wrong we know omega so is omega is being stone yeah so omega AB a, is given at 30 radian per second squares 30 radian per second so omega AB so let me write it down is 30 K 30 K 30 K so omega AB is 30 K so uh, we see uh, we see VCB Omega B, this is Omega BC Omega BC Omega AB so here is like VB equals to 0 0.2 times 30 so it's 6 6 uh, so this is this is 30 yeah this is also 30. So 0.2 times 30 is 
6 cos 60j so 6 cos 60 degree j minus 6 sine 60 degree i so this one we can uh, remove all this So this one is 6 cos 60 degree J and minus 6 sine 60 degrees I. Yeah. So if we take the uh, I component and from there, if you solve I, you can get 0 0.1 omega CD equals to minus 6 sine 60 degrees and we have got omega cd equals to so omega cd equals to minus 52 radian per second this is minus 52 radian per second so we can put the vector there omega cd equals minus 52 k radian per second remember our assumption in the previous slide and then we can do the j part similarly if we do the j part it is 0 equals to 0.2 omega ab plus 6 cos 60 degree And we find kind omega a b s uh, sorry omega c d uh, omega b c omega c d omega b c we went from j sorry this is omega b c omega b c sorry i've got to correct this this is omega b c Okay, so this is omega bc. Omega bc. So we will find that omega bc equals to uh, minus 15 radian per second. So we can write the vector equation. Omega bc minus 15 k radian per second so that's the answer to the whole question though, even though it doesn't ask you about dc but we, we got bc and we got also cd yeah so i hope you can follow the argument uh, please try to do it on your own or follow the uh, let me know if you have some issues with it thank you very much see you in the next lecture